Hey guys, it's Harlow, and um, it is 12.15 a.m. on Friday, so it's technically Friday, so I can technically do Friday Flickr finds. Um, I think this is like our 12th, 13th, 13th, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I guess I should have checked that before I started filming, but um, I know we've done quite a few of these so far, and honestly, they're like my favorite videos to do. I just, I love all the artwork I get to share with you guys, and the talent across the Second Life grid, and um, I got some good picks for you today. I couldn't sleep, I drank too much coffee today at work, and so I figured I'd just go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and get started with our first image. Our first one is from Damien Crow, and I just love everything about this image. The first thing that caught my eye was the vibrant colors of the image and the way that the uh, the avatar here just pops with this yellow background. I just thought it was really, really beautiful. The depth of field's lovely. Um, I love the way that Damien centered the, um, the frame here. Just a very well done image. Um, that I thought was really nicely done. So great work, Damien. Up next, we have Magician. And um, Magician's a flicker that I have found recently that I really, really enjoy. Like all of Magician's images are very whimsical and beautiful. And I thought this one really um, represented that quite well. I love the editing that was done to this image. I love that her eyes are closed. It looks like she's just dreaming. Um, I thought it was really beautiful. I also liked the greenery here on the left side. I just thought it framed nicely with the boat and um, the lanterns floating in the water in the background. So nice work. Up next, we have the lovely Shocking Wonder. And what's not to love about Shocking's Flickr feed? Every image that Shocking does is just stunning, absolutely stunning. And uh, the attention to detail that she puts into her images just blows me away. And um, there's just little details in this that really caught my eye, like the glow of the candle here. I like how there's a bottle of champagne on the table, but she's also holding one in her hand here as well. I love the way she's looking at her partner here. Um, just all these little details she's put in in the background, like the truck and the trees and the hanging lights. Um, just everything is just really, really nicely done. So great work, shocking. Up next, we have the amazing Ashley Carter. And um, I think I was talking about her Flickr on Facebook the other day and shared this image and just telling everybody to go and follow her because her work is just amazing. Um, I love everything she does, her character development, and uh, just all the details she put into this image are just, it's just really remarkable. I just cannot imagine how many hours of work go into each and every image she does. And um, I could stare at this picture for a good hour and still feel like I missed details from it. So Ashley, once again, great job. Again, if you have not followed Ashley on Flickr, please go do so. She has a ton of amazing images and so many different storylines that go with her images as well. And uh, just really, really awesome. So nice job. Yep, next, we have Eleven Pearl. And I just really dug everything about this image. It's just, I like the angle it's at. I like how um, Levin's just super focused here on this newspaper. Um, it just caught my attention. I also really liked like the sharpness and detail, like, like the fabric of the hat. You can see all the little details. Um, I just, I don't know, just really liked it. And it definitely felt, I definitely felt like it deserved to be here this week. So nicely done. Up next, the beautiful Aria Christian. Uh, I just loved everything about this. It's so whimsical and pretty. And um, as I was scrolling my Flickr feed, it just popped. Like it just glowed and popped. And I was like, whoa, that's really pretty. So as you know, Aria is a very good friend of mine. So I probably seem very biased, but truly she's got a beautiful Flickr. Uh, every image she does is just really lovely. She has her own distinct style, which I really appreciate about her. And um, yeah, I love all the glitter and glam of this image. It's um, just awesome. So nice work, Aria. 
Up next, we have Witchy, and um, I don't know if you guys follow Witchy on Facebook or in World at all, but she has recently got into uh, ponies in SL or horses, and um, I have had a lot of fun following uh, all of her little horse adventures, and I just was really impressed with this image. I loved the framing. Um, I love the color coordination, like everything about it just is spot on and um, I love how she has matched every horse accessory to what she's wearing uh, just overall it's just a really really nice image and it uh, caught my eye up next we have Miss Rowan Elise and what really caught my eye about this image first was the angle um, I like how she has framed her avatar how it's kind of a shot from up above I like her fuzzy socks in the corner over here um, it's just a really beautiful image it's it's very solemn but very lovely and um, I thought it was kind of just a perfect like winter portrait um, everything about it feels very cozy and warm to me so uh, nicely done Rowan if you're a fan of the Mandalorian um, you will definitely be a fan of Balin Acklin's picture stronger together um, I like how she put my Mando down here I just think it's really really cute um, yeah it's just a really neat image and um, I think Second Life also featured this as one of their photos of the day this year which is really cool and um, I, I just love the Star Wars vibes and uh, the only thing this picture is missing is Baby Yoda guys where's Baby Yoda but no seriously this is very well done uh, the lighting on it is perfect the way it's reflecting on their outfits in the center here um, overall it's just it's it's a stellar image so great work Balin Up next, we have Miss Fanny Thinney, and um, her artwork's always beautiful. She does a lot of post-processing that always just really stands out. She's got a very distinct style, and um, I really enjoy this image. I just love the look on her face. It's like she's just mesmerized by him and drawn to him, and she titled it, Your Face is My Favorite Faces of All Faces, and it fits the image so perfectly. I mean, she's truly just admiring him, and um, overall, I just think this is... A very nicely done picture and uh, it certainly caught my eye this week so nice work up next we have Charlie and this photo um, it's so solemn and sad but it's just also so beautiful and um, I love the the tears and the reflection in her eyes here um, but just the way that, that her the dark hair frames the image so that you're really just drawn into the center of the image and her face and this, this emotion that she's displaying. Um, I just thought this was very, very nice. So great work. Up next, we have Cassie Middles. And um, one thing I know I struggle with in my photography is uh, shadow and lighting work sometimes I feel like my shadows are never very sharp and um, you know getting your lighting to really behave itself can be a challenge and I don't really know how she went about doing this if she did a projector or just used like a window um, and mess with the wind lights but I think it's perfect and um, not only is the lighting perfect but I thought her color choices were a lot of fun too um, everything in the in the picture just pops and it's quite beautiful so uh, definitely a flicker to follow if you don't follow her and she also has a wonderful YouTube channel that uh, has a lot of great tutorials and information and uh, just lots of really good stuff on there so definitely check Cassie out up next we have Jane Bang and as I was scrolling Flickr um, this evening this one definitely caught my eye uh, I like really like simple portraits like this um, that just the lighting is really really nicely done on it uh, I like the look on her face I like the details that Jane puts into her avatar as well she does a really nice job and um, yeah I just overall this is one that just caught my eye this week as I was scrolling and I definitely felt it needed to be featured so great job Up next, we have Thanako, and I'm so sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but I am totally digging the Scooby-Doo vibes in this image. Um, I really love the lighting coming off their flashlights. I love that they're like running through this room. It's like they are off to solve a mystery. I like the dog in the background too. It's like a mini Scooby. So um, I just, 
I just really dig this. It's, uh, I think, one of my favorites this week. And um, I, it's just a fun image and very, very well done. So great work. Next we have Kiki. And this image is just gorgeous. Like she's got a stunning avatar and the look on her face and just this pose she is in, it's just sexy and beautiful. And it just mesmerized me. Um, it's definitely uh, another one of my favorites this week. And I just thought it was just just perfect really. So nicely, job, nicely done job, Kiki. It's, it's, it's a beautiful uh, image. And last but not least, we have the Happy Fucking New 2020 Volume 2, which the title of this image cracked me up more than anything, but I just love this action shot. Like, this is the perfect action shot, and you don't see a lot of those in SL, where they really, like, capture that one second in time, and um, I thought they did a really nice job. I also think these avatars are really well done. They're unique, they're beautiful, they're glamorous, they're, they're just highly fashionable just just awesome pictures so great work burdock i um definitely wanted to make sure this one was featured this week it is a lot of fun and gosh here's to hoping it's not 2020 volume two because i don't think i can go through a second 2020 i don't know about y'all but i definitely cannot so anyway that concludes this week's friday flicker finds if you want to have your images um included just honestly just make sure you have it open to be added to a gallery and if it catches my attention i will certainly make sure to feature it i appreciate you guys tuning in make sure to check out all these amazing artists and i will catch you soon have a great weekend